Hello my beautiful little mugglets. So today we are trying to get Silver Ash. As you can see up there, we currently have no way to summon. I think even if we were to transfer our pitiful amount of primes into the stuff, you know, we might get one or two summons. So we're gonna have to visit the store for this. And while I usually try and avoid spending, this decision came from an article on Game Press I was browsing around there. And we can take a look at that real quick. The title is Alert and Warning. You know, not just alert, not just warning, but both. This is why you should not miss out on Silver Ash. And then they go into why he's so good, why he's so strong, why he is a broken, overpowered, god tier unit. And I knew this was the hero most people were re-rolling for. And I was like, yeah, I'm sure he's good. But like, lots of heroes are good. But apparently he's on another level. And I believe that because they actually included a gif down here. Uh, but yeah, look at this. This is his Elite 2 skill up to five units, that damage. I don't know who this little dude he's killing is. He looks special though, like some kind of boss, and he is just going down like, like it's no one's business. Also, all these big dudes around him just getting obliterated, dude. And I was like, I need this unit. I need this unit. Maybe not for the current content, but like, you know, we're gonna get new Annihilation stages as far as I know. They were talking about Annihilation, the uh, third stage of Annihilation, which I guess we don't have yet. Um, but we will get eventually and also I'm sure we're gonna get more content. He just looks so damn amazing here I mean look at that. That's crazy. That's insane So yeah, I was like I need this dude and They were talking about up here that a lot of the Chinese players uh, have regret over not getting him because uh, They've had the game for like six months and he hasn't had a repeat banner They do say he appears in the shop once where you can exchange 180 tokens for him So those yellow tokens I believe they're talking about but those are like the hardest tokens ever to get. They are very hard. I have like 110 and I haven't used any as far as I remember. So if you're not in the position to really try and go for him and get him, make sure to save up your tokens to get him. Uh, I believe those heroes are on rotation. I don't believe he's he's in there right now, but he will be eventually in the distinctions section of the certificate shop where Nightingale currently is. He will be here at one point. I don't know when. We have 119 currently. Uh, but I was mostly actually going to save up for headhunting permits. But unless our rolls today are successful, I will definitely just save up for Silver Ash. Uh, so, in the store, there are a couple of uh, interesting packs. Yeah, I know, it's money. My only other real option currently would be to start a new account. But at level 48, I thought the time it took me to get here is worth, you know, more than $20, in my opinion at least. We're going to start with this. If it fails, then we're probably going to go for the monthly headhunting pack too. Uh, which gives 42 primes, which I will definitely not transfer into Origanum, but that will be nice to continue refreshing stamina for a bit longer. And then a tin roll. So we're gonna start with this. All right, let's let's do this, man. If we don't get him in these 30 rolls, it, it's gonna it's gonna be a sad time. And then you know we haven't gotten a six star in a while, so I think we're gonna get a six star within those 30 rolls. But that's only a 50% chance to actually get Silver Ash. Could get any other random 6 star. But let's give this a try. Ugh. Yeah. It's just... Oh lord. We're gonna open it slowly. Please, God, at least be golden. That doesn't guarantee a 6 star, but I think it's a... Ooh, yes! I know you're in there, Silver Ash. I can feel it. I don't know if you can get any information from this, but... Alright, that's a 4 star. We're not gonna skip, but I'll chop up the video to make it less long. Jessica, Orchid, Ansel, no one knew yet. Uh, who's this? 4 star. Deep Color. Shaw. I mean, all duplicates are useful too, I guess. Please be a 6 star. Frostleaf. I'm actually raising her. She seems pretty interesting, although a little bit weaker than I thought. <laughs> Come on. Oh, <gasps> please, 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 please. Oh, damn it. I mean... It's a six star. No, that's actually bad. Fuck. That means I don't get a guaranteed six star for like a hundred more pulls. Oh my god. That was like my one chance, dude. I'm sure she's fine too, I guess. But like, seriously. Ah, uh, dude, that sucks. Yeah, like most likely I'm just gonna have to save up my yellow tokens, my advanced certificates for him. We're gonna do the... I don't even know if I should, like, you know, I still have this one I need to do 8 rolls on to get the guaranteed 5 star. That would probably be smarter since there's probably 0% chance, well, I guess 2% or what is it? Yeah, it starts at 2%. 
and then like one percent to actually get silver ash yeah this is probably still our best bet for now damn man that sucks uh da -da -da. five star at least fang shirayuki hi hi steward five star that's probably the that was probably the golden shine and we already have cliff heart as well but five advanced certificates for an eventual uh silver silver ash oh another five star cool premanix i think that's it though we're gonna skip the rest yeah a couple five stars in there i guess i'll be happy with that you can technically get silver rash out of recruit too <laughs> but good luck yeah we're gonna go for the monthly headhunting pack as well that's mainly for the prime though so i can continue refreshing energy it's a it's a shame because i know we're not going to get him on this this tin either but we'll save up our yellow cards gonna give me a golden shine eh no dude take it back i, I don't want it nah go away i i don't want i don't even want it go away forget it i'm gonna skip on that one jesus um but yeah let's check out uh one of those new ones we got nightingale first of all I mean, she's probably worth raising. Is she a... Uh, yeah, she's an AoE healer. I already have um, Pitalopsis. So I guess she'd be the replacement there. Looks very similar. Same with the range. The three three allies healing. The attack skill. Let's see what happens at uh, Elite 1. The next heal generates a shield on all affected targets for three seconds. The shield can absorb damage equal to 40% of Nightingale's attack. Yeah, okay, so a pretty interesting skill. I don't, I don't think Pilopsis's was really all that interesting. Actually, I've never even tried it, but it takes a hundred energy, so uh, didn't really bother. But her range expands and reduces attack interval slightly. Maybe that goes up more when you uh, raise the skill. It's kind of low, too. Usually have most of my guys at like five or so. Uh, we can raise Cliff Heart's potential. I kind of like her, but like, I always prefer new heroes. Scavenger's pretty nice too. Attack plus 25. Frostleaf and Shaw and Shirayuki. Yeah, we got a lot of duplicates. We did summon 30 times, so bound to have some three Jessicas. <laughs> okay, we, we, we must have gotten a lot of Jessicas on the uh, one of the others. Damn, didn't... Didn't think I'd be getting my Jessica up to six potential. Should have raised her instead of Cruz, maybe. I just raised Cruz to finish LS5. I mean, she's max potential as well, so whatever, but. Also Meteor, lots of uh, lots of snipers. Vigna have been thinking about raising two to replace one of my other vanguards. Uh, I guess she would replace Plume pretty much, but Plume's actually doing really well, so I wouldn't know why I would do that. Am I wailing wrong if I don't just wail until I get what I want? <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any really other good things in here though that I, I'd be like yeah I, I want to do that I mean the only other thing we could do is get a bunch of primes and convert them into iridium but I don't really want to do that to be honest like we can get 260 here for 100 but um, yeah again I kind of really don't want to do that I'd rather spend all my primes and refreshing energy we might try again before he's gone because um I think one of those things we bought was a monthly pack and uh That'll be resetting soonish. And then the certificate shop, I think should reset. We're not gonna do anything in distinctions, obviously. This store refreshes in uh, four days too. I kinda already started buying things. Um, unfortunately, or not, I don't know. You can get down here, but like everything's more expensive. But then like the third one, you can buy as many or random as you want for 50. It's only 30 or random, so I don't know how, how worth it it is. But 150K LMD you can get here for 1500 green tokens. Those green tokens are kind of worthless. <laughs> May as well just buy the headhunting permit, honestly. Probably want to get the recruitment permits. I mean, up here in the first page, it's all pretty good value. But then, like, in the second page, it's kind of much worse. Unless I can scroll over that way once it's unlocked. But it's all, like, double price. And then here, I mean, yeah, 50 for 30 or random. Well, that's 500 green tokens per pull. So it's not really that good either. Here we get a pull for 240 green stuff. So I don't know. There's probably something I'm missing, but like it seems better just to clean out the first page and not bother with this. Unless you're like a mega whale and getting like thousands and thousands of these green tokens per month, then like, yeah, I guess. Seems like the best stuff is here at the bottom though. I'm just kind of curious. So we're going to go down to the second page and see what's going on here. Ah, okay, you can buy a lot of other things too. Yeah, these skill enhanced materials, some are pretty rare, like this. They're not too expensive either, I guess, but they can be farmed, so, dunno. 
headhunting permits cannot be farmed. Yeah, whatever. We can go do two more summons. Like I said, we probably should do it on the new banner since we all get a guaranteed five star. It's just, even if it's a 2% chance, I gotta try. Come on. Damn it. Another Shirayuki. Please, 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 please. Mm. Kitano. She is a, she is an AoE caster, right? I know we also got a new five star. Ah, oh, yeah. Primanix. Ah, she's like a supporter. Somewhere in the middle of like a medic and a damage dealer, I guess. Ranged debuff. Deals arts damage. Simultaneously attacks two targets. Attack speed of all enemies in range 30. Holy hell, look at that range. Damn. <laughs> She'll get a new talent. Enemies in range are affected by fragile, making them take 115% damage when their HP is under 40%. Well, she sounds pretty interesting, honestly. I mean, probably not a super necessary unit, but she really debuffs the units. Defense, minus 35%, and resistance, minus 20%. Huh. Definitely should consider that. But I guess I would have to raise the 6 star first. She's a 6 star after all, right? I mean, I know everyone says 6 stars aren't necessary. Ultimately, they have the highest potential. Because they have 3 skills. And everyone below that only has 2 skills. I think except Amiya. She's special for some reason. You can see she has a uh, locked skill here. But like every other 5 star has a little dash there. That you just don't get a skill. Well, you weren't in the 6 star I wanted. But you're definitely more waifu material than... Uh, Silver dude, whatever. We got one more chance. We got to 450th for the headhunting permit. Wouldn't that be so epic, guys? What? Come on, come on. This is literally the last summon we can do forever, okay? So, if this were to work, think about how amazing that would be. You know? You know? Here we go. It's gonna be a gold shine, and it's gonna be silver ash behind there. Mm hmm. Power of suggestion, boy. <sighs> I'm sure he's not that good. You know, this, this people are probably hyping him up for like just just because he's maybe slightly better than someone else in the same role. You know, you don't need him. You know, he's not that good. I guess probably. I, I definitely won't need him until he comes in the store with the with the certificates one day just have to hope i have 180 of these yellow things before then because as it is now they're extremely hard to get i got all of these earlier ones mostly from new heroes so once you have every you know one two three four star in the game the only way to get more is from new five and six stars and duplicate five and six stars possibly also you will get one if you salvage a four star token yeah we get three here and 114 of those since we already have a few dudes at maximum potential all right yeah, you know, we need uh, 51 more. Start saving up, dudes. Start saving up. Uh, so, but we have a ton of gold now, so <laughs> these orders will be filled for a while. That's cool, at least. So, yeah, obviously that's a shame, but at least we got some uh, primes to get some more stamina back as we were running low anyway. I could have gone without the two tin rolls from that other pack, though. Again, though, I'm sure everything is beatable without him, you know. All right, but enough rambling from me. Uh, if you have any thoughts, you can drop them in the comments down below. Were you one of the ones that specifically were going for Silver Ash during your rerolling phase? Did you actually reroll at all? I was trying to reroll a bit yesterday, but then I just thought, I don't want to give up this account, e even to have Silver Ash. I mean, we have three six stars now, so... But that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Again, any thoughts, drop them in the comments below. Dropping a like if you did happen to enjoy my misery is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time...